Change these settings now to boost FPS and lower input delay in CS2. I'm also going to be showing you guys some useful settings or tweaks that you can use to boost FPS and fix FPS drops and all stutters in CS2. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. First, open Google Chrome. Now click on these three dots in the upper right corner. And to then click on settings, after that selected the performance section and to then enable the memory saver option. Now select the system section and the lastly, disable continue running background apps. Google Chrome is closed. First you open the Sing library. Now right click on counters, track to and select properties. After that select the storage file section. Then click browse, then navigate to game Bing in 2064. Now right click on the CS to file and click on properties. After that select the compatibility tab and check the disable first characterizations option. And lastly click apply and OK to save the change. First press Windows H, or on the desktop is the open field, to type eggp.messc. And then click on OK. There is a 2 navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components engine, and app privacy. Now the book, click on light Windows app showing the background, then selected enabled option in the upper left corner. After that on the default for a web select force deny. Lastly click on applying OK to save the change. Now make sure that the game modes enable. Go to my Discord server and download the CS to optimal pack for boosting FPS. I give link in the description, so download it and follow me for settings. And inside of here, or a bunch of tweets that you're gonna be going and ahead. applying in a specific order. So the first one that you want to apply is disable. UAC right here. Simply double click on hit it. Hit yes and then hit OK. Now after applying this tweet, we will need to restart your PC so that it is properly applied. What this will do is make sure that all tweets of the that we are going to be applying right now will work properly and will be implemented without any issues. Go to power options and follow me. Finally just select 2 Windows High Performance Power Plan or CPU High Performance Power Plan if available. Now go to disable HDCP and follow me and why we are disabling it. But simply put, it will lower your latency drastically, and I have even shown benchmarks in that video in the smoothness of the game. So go ahead and double click on the disable htcp.dredge. Hit yes and then hit OK. Go back into the pack once more, and this time you're gonna be disabling U Energy GP, Driver, which is a useless G driver service that keeps running in the background. So double click on it, hit yes and then hit OK. As for the disable Spectre and Meltdown, I have also recently explained what these are but TLDR. These are security badges that cause a lot of issues with your CPU performance, lowering it by a lot. And these days, these two settings are not even that useful, since a lot of browsers come built in with these security badges. So that's the reason we're gonna be going and ahead. disabling these. Simply double click, hit yes, and then hit okay. For disabled memory compression, once again, this is a setting that is supposed your to Your Windows make. better however, it does not work properly in a lot of machines. And due to memory compression, a lot of apps and games cannot use the free memory properly. That is the reason we're gonna be going and disabling ahead. the memory compression as well. Go ahead and press any key to continue. And that's it. First open your library on Steam. After that you're right. Click on Caution as Track 2. And then click on Properties and lastly, just copy this comments from the description below. And places them into the field, Launch Options. First open Contour Strike 2. Now click on this gear in the upper left corner. After that select the Video tab. Under Display Mode, select Full Screen under Refresher Rate. Select to the highest available. Now select it Address to Video tab. Under Boost, Player Contrast. Select Disabled. Under Which, for which Go Sync. Select to Disabled. Now adjust this settings. Under Individual Preset Values. To be the same as in this video. And lastly under Invig. Reflex Low Latency. Select Enabled plus Boost, and that was a video. If you want to boost and optimize performance in your games, you can subscribe to this channel, and then always learn new methods when uploads new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.